Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the final day of the national level one week online workshop on research methodology for ethnographic study, organized by IQSC Bahana College, Jorhat Assam, in collaboration with Chutia Jatia Gobekhana Porikot. In the past six days, the journey so far has been enriching and packed with information. Over the past six days, we had the privilege of learning from distinguished experts on various aspects of ethnographic research who engaged in insightful discussions. For the technical session 10, digital ethnography, researching in online and virtual environment, it is my pleasure to welcome our resource person, Dr. Anupam Chanda, currently working as a librarian at Bahana College, Assam. He completed his master's and PhD in library science from Department of Library and Information Science Assam University Silchar. Prior to joining Bahana College, he worked as an assistant librarian, Nelit Guwahati, and librarian at Assam Don Bosco University. He has successfully implemented RFID system at Don Bosco University, Assam. He also published 31 research articles and three books till date, and has presented his research findings at numerous national and international conferences. He has also been invited to deliver lectures as resource person in many seminars, conferences, and workshops. With these few words, I would like to welcome Dr. Chanda to our uh, midst and hand over the session to him. But before that, I would like to request the participants to keep your microphones muted throughout the session. And if you have any queries, you can type it in the chat box, or you can open your microphones and ask the resource person directly. Thank you. Over to you. Dr. Chanda. Am I audible? Yes, you are. OK. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kosturi Bhushami, madam. <clears throat> uh, my topic today, my topic is digital ethnography. So I'm uh, sharing my screen. I hope everyone can see the screen. Yeah. So good morning, one and all present here. Uh, my topic is digital ethnography, uh, researching in online and virtual environment. So everyone knows that nowadays everything is digital and online mode. So whatever we do, like from um, our education to banking system and everything, almost we use digital media okay so the digital is dialogical that is communication exchange and the information that is always speaking to multiple connections through a network it is not a static so we can say that digital is not static it is a signal always in motion and action and it runs okay the digital is therefore connected by the process to a mechanical interpretation like machinery code that is the what we know that binary code this is zeros and ones and we as a human being interpret this binary code code through the various screens or any kind of electronic gadgets okay the digital is not persistent. We all know that digital is malleable and changeable and easy to override. Here, the digital ethnography is a research method that involves studying and understanding human behavior through social interactions and cultural practices within online and virtual environment. So through various online and virtual kind of environment, we can do our digital, we can research the digital ethnography. It is an extension of traditional ethnography research. It is not the different from the traditional ethnographic research, but it is just an extension. Like we will use only the digital media to do the ethnographic research, which focuses on observing and documenting social phenomena 
in physical settings. In digital ethnography, so researchers employ various digital tools uh, and platforms to explore and analyze online communities, virtual worlds, social media platforms, online forums, gaming communities, and other virtual environment. By emerging themselves in these digital spaces, researchers can gain insight into the social dynamics, cultural norms, and identities that emerge within this context. I will show you various uh, virtual mode, various social media, various social media platforms, various tools, online tools, by using this digital media, how we can do the ethnography research or any kind of research you can say. Yeah. The digital ethnography seeks to explore the consequences of these conditions. There are two conditions um, I pointed out. These, these are digital ethnography seeks out and describes the cultures that are made possible or altered by the presence of digital technologies and practices. And the second one is digital ethnography discloses and investigates the experience of reality transformed or mediated by the digital through both empirical observation and the application of theory to the results of that observation in order to come up with an explanation. So some key aspects and techniques involved in digital ethnography, these are participant observations. So participant, what is participant observation? So we as a digital ethnographers engage in participant observations where we actively participate in online communities or virtual environment while observing and documenting the interactions and behavior of the participants. That means we documented the, and observed, we document the behavior of the participants through digital media, through digital form. This may involve creating an avatar, joining social media groups, or interacting with users in chat rooms or forums. We can create avatar like, um, or we can uh, we can just wrap. Yeah, am I audible? Hello? Yes, you are audible, sir. Okay. Participant, just bear with us for a moment. Hmm. So, next one is online interviews and surveys. So what we do, the research, we conduct interviews and surveys using digital communication tools such as emails or video conference or online survey platform. So these methods allow researchers to collect qualitative and quantitative data about participants' experience, motivation, and prospectives. Then data collection and analysis. After um, uh, online interview and survey, what we do, what we collect, um, uh, we collect data and we analyze this data. So digital ethnography involves in collecting and analyzes various types of digital data, including text-based conservations, um, audiovisual content, user-generated content, and metadata. So researchers may use data mining techniques, social network analysis, content analysis, and other quantitative or qualitative methods to analyze the collected data. Then reflexivity and ethics. So as you all know, what is ethics? Digital ethnographers are mindful of the ethical considerations involved in studying online communities.
they mention reflexivity by critically examining their own basic biases and assumptions acknowledging their impact on the research process and ensuring the privacy and confidentiality of participants online and offline dynamics so digital ethnography recognizes the interplay between online and offline worlds researcher may explore how online interaction and experiences influence offline behavior and vice versa considering the way in which virtual and physical realms interest and shapes individuals identities and practices i cited research so digital ethnography allows researchers to study geographical express communities and network simultaneous they can examine multiple online aspects or platforms related to a particular topic or community and bring a more comprehensive understanding of the subject under investigation so we can say that digital ethnography has become increasingly relevant as our lives become more entwined and digital technologies and online interactions it offers a unique lens to examine digital cultures social movement digital inequalities online identities and other socio cultural phenomena that emerge within and ever evolving ways in which individuals and communities navigate their digital lands so here are some commonly used online tools in research so as you all know uh, as a reference management tools like zotero mendeley and endnote helps researcher organize and manage reference create bibliographic and collaborate with others so you may use um, zotero or mendeley i can show you how mendeley works um in my computer in my desktop mendeley software is there just a minute so this is the interface of mendeley software mendeley reference management tools here these are the articles which i have added to my mendeley library okay just simple steps you need to click on click add new and then files from computer if you have pdf articles then you can add these files from computer or add enter manually you can enter the bibliographic information manually just like that is uh, uh, volume number this identifier if you have the gui number journal reference uh, Uh, reference type, whether it is book or journal article or whatever may be, you just select this one. The title of the article, author's name, journal name, year. Is it visible? Yes, sir. It is visible. Yes. Please continue. Hmm. The volume, issue, month, day, then abstract, then add entry. or just files from computer like this if if you have the pdf file in your computer the article you can directly add the article So you can search from here. Barcode image is in this application in the library. See the file is showing here. You can check. This is the article. You can edit here also. Information. Okay. You can edit the information here also. And then simply you have to. Uh, 
add this Mendeley add-in in your MS Word. Okay, but the thing is your MS uh, Office needs the version of more than MS Office 2016 or more than that upgraded version, not this old MS Office 7 or something. I have MS Office 13, so here this I cannot add this add-ins. You just need to click on insert and then here one add-in option will be there. And here you have to search this manually and it will be add. Okay. So sorry, I cannot show you this uh, final version because in my computer only um, uh, MS Office 2013 is installed. So in this way, you can add articles in the template and then you just need to show it in another way. Here you will find in the reference section, in the reference section, you will find the Mendeley. You just need to insert citation. You just need to click on insert citation and then add Add from Mendeley, here you will find this Mendeley software. Add from Mendeley, click on Mendeley, and then you can add the citation and you can also add the bibliography. Okay, like this from here only. Okay, and that journal is also similar, but uh, article in the media software and then automatically you can incorporate in your research. So it will save time. Uh, excuse me, well. uh, excuse me, Chanda sir. Uh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I think there is some network issue on your end. Can you kindly check it once? Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, next, this literature search for the literature search. You can uh, search any database or from Google Solar or from PubMed or from Gesto. Okay. This way, if uh, you can search any kind of article from Google Scholar, PubMed, Gesto, or any uh, database, there are uh, various uh, kinds of open access uh, uh, resources. Uh, open access is available in various databases, so you can search from various databases. Uh, and we generally use this Google Scholar. Google Scholar we generally use because in Google Scholar we can easily find the articles. Okay, and also. From Google Scholar, you can uh, you can get the uh, citation. I'm just showing you how we can get the citation from Google Google Scholar. Just we need to type Google Scholar in the um, uh, Google, then it will open Google Scholar. Suppose I'm searching for digital ethnography. Okay principles this article so like there are various kind of various articles will come then this is the digital ethnography one article pdf article is digital ethnography so this is a one pdf article digital ethnography handbooks so from here also you can get this article and for citation just click on the site and there are MLA, there are various types of uh, citation, MLA, FTA, Chicago, Harvard. So just click here and copy and then paste. The citation will come. Okay. Likewise, you can copy paste the citations also. Then collaboration and communication for this, uh, we can use platforms like Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, facilitation, facilitated file sharing, collaborating, writing, and team communication. So in the Google Drive, through Google Drive, you can share your resources. 
i hope you all of you know how to use google drive and dropbox so in the google drive you can uh, upload the resources and you can also share the resources then data collection so for data collection we can use online survey tools like survey monkey google forms qualtrics etc so most commonly platform of data collection online data collection is google form so most of you know about the google form as we, you in every day you are uh, submitting one google form for feedback purpose so this way we collect the data and the survey monkey yes sir survey monkey you can search survey monkey in google you will find this is one the world's most popular free online data collection tool so you can just uh, sign it uh, free sign up and then you can use this survey monkey platform okay so this is very easy create an account this is free and you can use it then for data analysis statistical software such as spss yesterday day before yesterday you learned spss okay and one more thing you are using uh, most of you are using ms excel for data collection i think for data analysis okay so the excel stat this is the extension version of excel ms excel excel is so just type excel stat in your uh, browser and it will come like this try excel stat premium or order license or you can have a trial version also no coding required directly integrate into ms excel so it is easy just you, you need to learn how to use it so for that there are some very um, many youtube videos are there you can refer these youtube videos then r r is another data analysis software which you can use for on data analysis remember uh, i just want to say that uh, here i will show you only the platform okay where you, those platform you can use in your research activity i am not the expert of uh, this platforms i will just show you this platform and you can you, you have to explore you can explore this platform by your own okay then for qualitative analysis tools like nivio maxcoda atlas okay support the coding and you can use you can explore this qualitative analysis tools which will help you to analyze your qualitative data then research project management there are various research project management tools like trello asana so you can use this research project management tools for your to manage your project okay this these are very easy tools you can use this then data visualization tools this there are popular tool like tabula plotai and infogram so you can visualize your data so these are the data visualization and mapping tools you can check from here also okay so these are the data um, visualization tools you just google it and you will find these tools and you can also see the videos how to use these tools then online note taking and document organization so these are the tools platforms like evernote microsoft one note or notion allow researcher take the organized notes store document and capture ideas then virtual meetings and webinars you all know the zoom microsoft teams google meet webex so these are the virtual meeting and webinar tools by using those tools you can meet the 
your study population you can do meeting with your study population virtually this is this, nowadays these are very common things uh, then lit, for literature review you can use these tools if you have don't have time to review your literature then you can use these tools i will show you one tool this resumer r e s w m e r resumer how it how you can use okay so this is the tool where actually this is you can summarize your article here okay so for example i will show you just give me just a minute so i'm copy this copy this here and i i click in resumer so it will here from here you need to select either automatic or manual i am i have select manual so see you can just rearrange your article like this here one um, 119 words so only 32 words but one one more thing this, these are the ai tools uh, you need to physically verify you need to verify by your own ai will not help you to do the accurate things okay so you need to verify by your own these are the these are only the tools which can help you which can which can save your time okay these are not the replacement of human beings remember then data visualization and mapping tools these are the data visualization and mapping google data studio is one of the popular data visualization and mapping tools you can visualize your data through google data studio so these online tools are widely used in research across various discipline and uh, to enhance productivity facilitate Uh, collaboration and streamline different aspects of the research process uh, researchers should choose tools that align with their specific needs and research goals so choose your tool tools very wisely okay then few more tools which use in ethnography research virtual ethnography platform there are virtual ethnography uh, platform so you can use this platform like okay these are the platforms where you can use indemo this is a appless platform that specializes in mobile ethnography then qualsite field notes so these are the platforms sir you can use this platform to do your ethnographic research then social media analysis tools so these are the social media analysis tools okay nilek so you can use these tools to analyze your social media and then video conferencing tools i have already mentioned you like zoom google meet these are the video conferencing tools online archival research so digital archives such as online repository online libraries historical database provide researcher so you can use any kind of online archival research i am just showing you ir dot inflipnet dot sc dot in this is one repository of inflipnet here you will find the articles okay and then shodh ganga you all know in shodh ganga you will find the phd thesis 
on various subjects you can search here in shodh ganga okay so in this way you can internet archive is another platform where you will you can find various kinds of books journals articles etc etc like here um, i type digital ethnography okay so okay so here you will find digital ethnography books okay like this if i click on this book so the internet archive is one of the most popular site where you can find many books then another site is there pdf drive here also you can download pdf books from this pdf drive 84 lakhs books are available more than 84 lakhs you can download good uh, number of books are there see here one books i am malala the story of girls who stop education so you can download these books free download is free only 3.04 mb through mobile also you can download likewise you can download many books so there is the digital ethnography books okay just a minute I'll show you another so these are the platform where you will find many books many journal articles then another uh, platform is their ebooks directory so ebooks directory here you will find many books you can download it free okay these are the subjects these are the subjects main categories you will find almost 10000 more than 10000 books are there okay then directory of open access journal you can use this one and you can download any articles okay so likewise you can use the database online archival research site site to do your ethnography research then digital storytelling platform the tools like storybird adobe spark and twin allow researcher to participate and create and share digital stories enabling the exploration of personal narrative and cultural experiences so you can use this platform to tell your digital story and you can download also online surveys and questionnaires so i have already talked about the survey monkey google forms etc etc so you can use this platform then online data storage and collaboration so google drive dropbox there are so many others are there but most popular is google drive and dropbox hmm. i often use google drive and dropbox also and digital mapping and geographic information system so for this these are the tools you can use these tools okay at gis online so you need to sign in and you can connect people location data use interactive maps then google maps is one of the popular uh, tool most of us use google maps for different purposes like um, for any unknown places we always search in google map for whenever you, we need to go to restaurant we search in google map where is the restaurant and where is the uh, this place where is this temple okay so you, we often use google maps then online transcription services so these are there are online transcription platform such as otter ai i will show you okay you can start for free it will transcript it will transcript your 
messages or this temi provide automated human assistance transcription services helping researcher transcribe interviews focus group or other recorded data okay then online collaboration and communication tools like uh, microsoft team and google meet etc text analysis software so this software will analyze your text and coding large amounts of textual data collected from online sources such as interviews online discussion and digital documents so, so for ethnographic research this is, these are the very um, uh, important tools this will analyze your text okay this software this nivo i'll show you So this software unlock inside with uh, qualitative data analysis software. So it will help you to analyze your qualitative data. I will show you. My, I will. I will share my uh, slides with you. Uh, so you will find whatever my, this this uh, list you will uh, you can get from there. Okay. Then data visualization tools like I have already. Mm, talked about this Microsoft Power BI. Okay, let me just show you the Microsoft Power BI. So this is a product of Microsoft where you can turn your data into immediate impact. You can start it from free also. This is uh, this will create impactful report faster. So you can use it for creating your impactful report. Then centralize your data in a trusted and secure hub. So, like this, you can use these tools. So these online tools offer ethnographers various data collection, analysis, collaboration, and communication options in the digital realm. Researchers should choose tools that align with their research goals, data types, and specific requirement. Okay. So here I will show you few AI tools which you can use in your day-to-day -day research activities. Not only ethnographic, but also your regular research. Okay. So we all know, almost all of we know what is Chat GPT, isn't it? So every day we use Chat GPT for different purposes. This is one of our best friend nowadays, I think. Chat GPT. Okay. But what do you use? We only use, use Chat GPT to uh, to write something. Okay. Just tell me what is ethnography. It will clearly tell me what is ethnography. Okay. Sim simple. But there, in ChatGPT also there are various uh, tools. You can explore these tools from uh, in the ChatGPT. There are so many tools in the ChatGPT. Okay, and it is free. No need to upgrade to Plus. You can use it for free. See, within a within a few seconds, within a fraction of seconds, ChatGPT write what is ethnography. But again, I I am telling you. You need to physically verify. These are only the artificial intelligence tools, AI tools. Okay, this may not provide you the accurate information, accurate data. Okay, so you need to physically verify. You need to read what ChatGPT has given you, what ChatGPT has written. You need to read this, and maybe it may be a wrong information. So you have to verify from different other sources. Okay. Then with ChatGPT you can use Quillbot. This is another popular AI tool. So in Quillbot, what you can do, you can paraphrase. You can paraphrase the write-up. Suppose I copy this write-up from ChatGPT to Paras. Okay. And I will paste here and see. I will click paraphrase and it will paraphrase the word. 
here it is written ethnography is a research method used in social sciences and anthropology to study and understand human cultures and societies here the first line is a research techniques used in ethnography and the social sciences to examine and comprehend uh, comprehended human cultures and societies is ethnography the meaning is same but the paragraph is different both the paragraphs are different here also you cannot fully trust on uh, this quill word or chapter gpt you can change here also this para just click on this and rephrase being searched under study subject to inquiry like this then im immersion you can change this engagement immerse participation involvement like this so i hope I, i think you uh, most of you use this quill bot ai tools then another on scopy.ai so these are all similar kind of tools you can uh, use it for your research purpose then copy.ai this is another ai tools so whatever you want to ask our chat has answered so you need to just sign up with your google or any email id get it a free account you, you can uh, start it uh, with a free account and then you can ask anything this copy.ai will also reply like chat gpt okay <laughs> so another software is grammarly it also used for the research purpose so basically we use grammarly to check grammar or for plagiarism so if you want to check plagiarism then you have to you need to subscribe you have to subscribe this the grammar checking is free <coughs> up to a limit i think so just like this you uh, plug in with your ms word software the grammarly version and then open grammarly just click on open grammarly remember you need a internet connection okay without internet connection this grammarly will not work perfectly and then if you install grammarly in your desktop uh, it will show in the uh, sorry if you install the grammarly extension in your google chrome okay it will the grammarly will show in your email account also in, whenever you type an email this grammarly will help you to correct your languages i'll i'll, I'll show you this one see here the grammarly the spelling name okay so grammarly will show you the that the spelling is wrong likewise you can use grammarly here also you can just you need to just upload the paper and it, um, it will check the um, plagiarism but for that you need to subscribe this grammarly otherwise grammarly here also you can see i have the grammarly extension then just click on the this word it will show that this word is not proper right you can change okay if you feel don't go with the uh, entirely uh, don't go blindly with the grammarly okay then there are various kinds of software do it is canva one is one is canva okay this is one of the popular software uh, ai tools nowadays Yes, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, okay, okay. So here you can see the Canva. You can make uh, not only the poster, but also you can make uh, this uh, presentation. Also, you can make through Canva. 
but the thing is you cannot download in it ppt format if you make a presentation then you can download it in pdf format okay like here you can create presentation you can create posters anything with canva with a free version also but there are some restrictions with the free version uh, we have created many things with the canva this is my canva uh, interface and our college uh, prospectus is also being prepared through canva software okay and thanks to the prospectus committee um, they have prepared this prospectus through this canva software so you can choose any any design any design and you can uh, edit edit this design uh, in the canva and you can download this but the thing is you cannot download in yeah this ppt is also av available i think yeah ppt is available so you can download pdf then ppt and video format also jpg png anything okay just you need to prepare one presentation here and then you can download so canva is one of the popular software you can uh, use it for ppt for uh, poster making for any kind of video preparation this is very easy okay then this is one slides go this is another ai tools Okay, so this is slides go. You can use it for generate presentation for generate PPT. Okay, just a minute. Generate presentation minutes. You just need to type the topic of the PPT. The AI will generate presentation for you. This is a very e easy to use software. Just so here, you just need to, to type the topic. Like I am typing digital ethnography. Okay, specified for professional. Okay, unspecified fun, creative, casual, professional, and the format i will choose this elegant format okay generate presentation then click on generate presentation it will just a minute you need to sign in before you proceed Okay, meanwhile, I will show you another thing. This hugging face. Here, what you can do, you can transmit, transcribe, transcript the YouTube video. Just copy and paste the YouTube video link here. And it will transcript the YouTube video. It will take some time. I will show you. Like digital ethnography. So I, I just copy this link. Okay, I just copy this link and I paste here and click on transcribe see it starts transcribing so it will take some time okay meanwhile yeah hold on we are generating your presentation so just wait for a moment 
it will generate the presentation for us just we need to edit this presentation for as per our requirement we need to edit this presentation just a minute let's go okay digital ethnography next okay see so what we provided the title give the title topic digital ethnography then it generates the auto presentation see what it is produced exploring the digital world and introduction to digital ethnography so we can edit here also we can just keep this an introduction to digital ethnography okay or explore the world digital world and introduction to digital whatever so here introduction digital ethnography is a research method that is a digital technology everything they have written the ai tool have written then what is digital ethnography then benefits of digital ethnography then digital ethnography in practice then conclusion and thank you you can add slides also you can add more slides if you want just click on add button this plus button you can add more slides if you want okay and if you do not want you can delete or you can edit any slides whatever you want so it will save your time while you are making any presentation you can uh, use these tools okay slides go then hedging phase is the tool which you can use to transcribe the youtube video if you don't have uh, time to uh, note down from youtube video by listening then you can use this site then then another site is remini so for ethnographer uh, for ethnography researcher if, uh, this is a very uh, important slide Uh, site so remini is the site where you can edit the photo like this so the old photograph will be converted like a new one suppose this is, there is a blur photograph uh, you find one blur photograph okay so you can convert it through these tools okay before then after likewise you can convert your photograph okay then fireflies i'll show you so fireflies is a software which will help you to automate your meeting notes you can add the extension of fireflies with any this uh, meeting platform like google meet zoom etc and it will transcribe meeting across several video conferencing app dialer and audio files it will transcribe your meetings easily invite the notes keeper to meeting on your calendar flyfast captures video plus audio on generates transcription in minutes so integrated with apps like google meet google uh, microsoft teams webex so find anything with ai power search review one hour meeting in 5 minutes so like i'm uh, in this meeting i'm uh, speaking on this digital ethnography tools and if this meeting is you recorded with the fireflies you can review this meeting within 5 to 10 minutes so the fireflies will help you to transcribe your video meeting okay so this is another ai tools then these are the dupli checker is there are so many online platform where you can check where you can check uh, plagiarism so dupli checker is one of the platform open access platform mm, not open access it is a free one and you can uh, go with the premium version it will charge uh, money so you can check your plagiarism with this free version also there are so many online plagiarism checkers one of is uh, dupli checker then another is plaga scan okay plaga scan you can use this plaga scan also here also you can check your reports 
but again these are not uh, that much popular tools so for your phd thesis or for your journal articles you can use tanitin or authenticate or drillivit or urkun these are the popular as well as authentic tools but if you don't have uh, the 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 link or the uh, capacity to purchase these softwares if you have the access of this software that is well and good but if you don't have the access then you can uh, use this uh, free free plagiarism checker uh, to check your the I mean, articles or part of your thesis okay then another tool is bid io so what bid io do anyone can make great video that means you so you can use this to create video okay you can use these tools to create video then pictory pictory is the similar kind of tools where you can make video with your notes In just a minute so here you need to log in just a minute so our uh, in our college our uh, the convener of this workshop dr prankaj wara has created one video through this uh, through this uh, ai tools pictory i can show you okay so you can easily create video with text through this uh, this is the video this video has been created through pictory.ai okay so similarly you can use this ai tools to create video this is very easy uh, and you, you can you can uh, see the youtube videos uh, how to use this pictory ai tools for details you can check the youtube videos so these are the these are few ai tools which you can use in your uh, ethnography research and there are so many other tools due to time times con constraint um, i cannot uh, show you all the tools but i hope these tools will help you and you will further search for other similar tools uh, uh, this is just the starting and uh, i also in every day i also um, uh, use uh, ai tools for the various uh, kinds of uh, for various uh, kinds of office um, work or uh, in my library okay and i am also exploring every day so you please explore the tools and i hope you will find more tools okay so thank you and uh, if you have question you can ask i hope i will i can give you the answer thank you chanda sir uh Uh, before i open the room for discussion let me quickly brief about what chanda sir has uh, um, taken us uh, in his presentation today uh, at the onset of the presentation he said that digitization is the truth of the day and is a biological and never static 
digital ethnography is just an extension of the traditional ethnographic research where researchers employ various digital platform to explore and analyze the ethnographic research through participant observation, online interviews and surveys. Digital ethnography has become relevant as our lives are entwined with digitization. He also mentioned some commonly used online tools for reference management, literature search, <clears throat> collaboration and communication, data collection and analysis, data visualization and mapping tools. He also mentioned some of the online tools used in ethnographic research. He also elaborated some of the AI tools such as ChatGPT, Canva, Quillbot, Copy AI, etc. Uh, thank you, sir, for this extensive team and elaborating us through how to use all these AI tools. Um, I hope the participant has benefited from it. And now I would like to open the room for discussion. If you have any questions, you can type it in the chat box or you can open your microphones and ask it directly to our resource person. Okay, I see uh, there is no questions from the participant, uh, not in the chat box as well. So uh, I would like to conclude this session formally. But before that, we have two announcements. Uh, one is regarding the Journal of Intellectuals, which has an ISSN. Uh, and we will be publishing the second volume soon. And if any of you want to publish your articles, we uh, we will share the link in the group. You can send in your articles. It's a peer-reviewed, blind peer-reviewed journal. So, and very soon, we will be also applying for UGC care list. And besides, uh, we also have a ISBN book uh, titled Towards a Sustainable Future, Perspectives from Northeast India from the Economic Study and Research Center, Department of Economics, Bahana College. So it's a multidisciplinary book. And if you want to publish in any one of it, we, you are most welcome. And we will share the link for both of them in the group. So with this, I would like to conclude the uh, session today, as today marks the culmination of the workshop. And I'm confident uh, that the knowledge and skills that the participant has acquired in throughout the workshop will help them in their professional and personal development. And we will be very soon joining for our valedictory session. Uh, please join us 10 minutes before the session. And with this, I formally end our session. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And thank you, Dr. Chanda, for giving us a wonderful session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all the participants. The feedback link is shared on the chat box. You can uh, give your feedback through the link.